The votes are in and you decided. This video is for you. Hey Sabre fans, this is Gray Paladin. And based on a recent poll that I posted, I asked uh, what you would like to see uh, for one of my videos. And the most votes went to my thoughts on Saber Trio. So here we are. Now, uh, I have quite a bit of experience with Saber Trio. Uh, I have two Sabres, uh, one being the Reaver. This is a Neo Saber. It has the Crystal Focus 10 soundboard and Neo Pixel. And the other is the uh, Senza Dark Edition, also a Neo Saber with the CFX board and Neo Pixel. So, um, I'm basing my uh, everything that I have um, so far on the purchase of these two sabers, and um, I've dealt with customer service and the website, and uh, and both their Etsy shop as well as um, their actual store, online store. Now, I have broken down. Um, my analysis into three major categories. Uh, one uh, is quality, and that's broken down to some subcategories. That includes design, parts, craftsmanship, options, customization, things like that. Uh, the other is, um, another main category is customer service, and that also includes shipping and lead times. And the third is going to be value, which will uh, mainly be about the price, and also against some of its competitors. So uh, let's first start with um, quality. Now, I, I believe that um, when it comes to design, uh, you look at Saber Trio's hilts, a lot of their hilts are, um, they're unique. They don't have a lot of replicas, but they may have a, their own take or spin on a replica, similar to Electrum Sabercrafts. Uh, for example, the uh, Senza here. Um, you can get this optional shroud, um, and with that on there, along with some of the um, some of the detail in the saber, it uh, resembles or has you know um, uh, parallels to the Jedi Fallen Order saber. And uh, but without those shrouds on there, it has its own uh, unique design in itself. Uh, you can look at the uh, the Aaron, and that has a thin neck. So you have their own take on some uh, some canon hilts, um, but they make it their own, which I really appreciate. Uh, now, as far as parts go, now with parts, I think um, it's not just the design of the hilt, but it's also what you put inside of it. And when you think about uh, the value and the price, which we'll get to later, but when you think about that, think about what they use to uh, produce your saber. And in their case now, they use the Crystal Focus 10 soundboard. And they've been using Plector Labs um, electronics uh, for some time now before. I mean, now the FX Sabres have the Pico Crumble, uh, which is a good saber. It doesn't have smooth swing, but it's very responsive and it's, it's, it's a good board uh, for the price. Uh, but the Crystal Focus 10 is going to give you all the bells and whistles and lots of features. Now, when it comes to the market, everyone seems to make a really huge deal about Profi. And Profi is a very nice soundboard. However, the advantage that CFX has over Profi is that it's more user friendly. Uh, you can get a lot of the same features that Profi offers, um, but you don't have to have a lot of programming skills to be able to utilize and access all of those features that it can do. Now, it does have its limits. Profi can do more, but your ability to use those features in a Profi are limited to your ability to do programming, understand the board itself, whereas CFX, you can plug it into your computer, you can do things on the rice editor um, or in the manual where you just cl click a number and then boom, you've got these features active. So CFX is a very good quality board and they've used that in their sabers. Uh, they also use 28 millimeter speakers, uh, bass speakers. Uh, I believe they are um, eight ohm, so they can take a lot of power. They're super loud and the clarity and the quality of the sound is very nice. Um, you get recharge ports, and keep in mind, all this is included. When you buy your Sabre, the flat rate's going to give you the board. It's going to give you the speaker. It's going to give you the recharge port. Some companies that I won't mention right now 
you have to pay extra for all of those features. And then customization. Um, for instance, this here, you have an optional OLED screen. You get uh, two button activation. You can get a single button or two button. Here it has the auxiliary switch. Uh, the shrouds, uh, you can add on or take off. Uh, they also do acid etching, which they do customize with you, um, the customer. So they'll contact you, ask you what you want. You tell them basically what you're looking for and they will do that for you, which I think is great. Uh, they also have weathered hilt options. Uh, you got um, all black anodized options. You have mirrored finish. You have brushed aluminum. There's a lot of options to customize the saber to you, which means that uh, you can even get different color switches like this here. I got a gold cover tech wheel and I got a red momentary switch. Um, you can customize it to your own taste, which means that your saber, though the overall model may be the same as someone else's, but you can customize it to be just yours, which means no one else will have the same setup that you do. Uh, and I like that option. It's not just, you know, assembly line, you know, uh, hilts coming down the line. You can customize it to how you want. Now, uh, I think that in itself puts Saber Trio above many other companies that you may see out there. Now, customer service. I have a lot of um, experience with this because when I first ordered this Reaver, the uh, no fault to Saber Trio, the CFX board, it was one of the first batches and it had a bad um, motion sensor cap, which had to be replaced. Not once, but twice. I, <laughs> I had two bad boards. Both times I sent the Sabre away, it was covered under their warranty, they, repra they replaced the board for me, and they paid for the shipping to and from. So I shipped the Sabre to them, which I had to pay for. I sent them a picture of the receipt, they reimbursed me through PayPal instantly, like I sent them receipt, and then within 10 minutes I had my refund back. And they did that for me both times that I had to send them the Sabre. Um, they uh, ensured that everything was okay, um, and I ended up getting extra battery out of it too. So when I sent it back the first time, uh, I did not include the battery per their instruction. When they sent it back to me, uh, there was a battery in there. So I had the battery that it originally came with and the battery from the repair. So I got two batteries, which was really awesome. Uh, their communication is very good. I know they're slammed and busy now at this time due to COVID and everything else that they've got going on, but they strive to make sure uh, that you are a satisfied customer and they speak to you actively directly through uh, Facebook Messenger, which I really like. You can email them uh, through the site, but they prefer Facebook because it's just faster and it's more personable. Uh, and they're all very nice. Um, I haven't had a negative experience with them personally. Um, one thing I like, they have a Facebook page and on the Facebook page, they're constantly posting updates. Uh, they also have, uh, I believe, Instagram as well. Uh, I don't use Instagram or Twitter or any of that stuff, um, but uh, Facebook I do have. And with Facebook, they're constantly putting out updates. They give you pictures. I mean, what company do you know actually tells you how many sabers they're shipping, show you a picture of the sabers that are being shipped, and, and, and we'll let you know if yours is in that or not. Um, that's really cool that they have that transparency. So you don't have to freak out and know what's going on. They're letting you know through Facebook, through all of their posts. And uh, their website is very clean and organized. I really enjoy that. Everything's easy to navigate and find, uh, including um, a manual updates, things like that, that you might need. Um, they, they post their configurator or their configuration firmware update on there as well, which you can download. So uh, the website is good. Uh, having that transparency and having that level of communication, I think goes a long way um, with a company. Um, and even though they started small and they're very huge and, they're, and they've got a lot of orders, they still meet that demand and they still do it positively and they still keep us informed as, as uh, Sabre fans and as uh, uh, satisfied customers. So that's huge. Uh, the other thing is lead times. They are very accurate on their lead times. Uh, I'll use Sabreforge for an example. They'll say, oh, we'll, we'll get it out to you in, you know, 8 to 12 weeks. I remember when I ordered my Vanquish, that took six months for me to get. That's more than 12 weeks. Uh, but Saber Trio, they're very good about meeting their, their lead times. And when they got longer, um, they posted that and they still strive to get it to you beforehand. Uh, when I ordered a Saber, 
uh, I think, and I've been seeing other people update their stuff on uh, Facebook as well, but they get their saber weeks before the uh, the actual lead time deadline is. Uh, something else that's cool is um, when you um, order from them, they include everything you need right out of the box. You get your charger, and these are nice chargers. It's a nice wall charger. Uh, and mine has a little uh, light indicator on there, so it tells me when it's uh, green when it's fully charged, red when it's charging. You get these adapters because they're shipping all over the world. So whether you're in the EU, the uh, the UK, the US, it doesn't matter. They've got an adapter so you can plug it in and charge your um, your Sabre. I know when I got my Senza, it came with a, uh, a belt clip, which was really nice. I got a blade plug that came, it was like Neo plug that came with my, uh, my Reaver. Oh, and my Senza. Got a blade plug in there as well. <coughs> And a nice one with a brass pin. You can see the shine through right there. Um, you get your extra uh, screws and your uh, your Allen wrenches. Some places that you order from, you have to pay a dollar just to get the Allen wrench. Like, really? You already paid a few hundred bucks for the Sabre. You can't throw in a cheap dollar, you know, Allen wrench so I can actually use the thing. Sabre Trio includes that for you. And their blades are very nice. Trans white, sanded, so you get very bright and even illumination um, for the Neil uh, Sabres they got the um, the styrofoam tube on the inside as well as diffusion around the outside of that very high quality these are really good blades I like them very much so uh, the quality of their parts and their craftsmanship and what they give you through customer service I feel is if I had if I, out of one, one out of five I give them a five hands down um, and now let's go into value um, all the things that they throw into the Sabre are of the highest quality, I think. They're durable. They hold up. You can duel with these suckers. You can slam them. You can drop them, and they're still going to work. And the reason why is because you get a Delrin chassis that's custom fit and designed to your Sabre. I mean, that's tough. This is a tough uh, chassis that's going to securely hold everything in place. you got your board clamp down so that's not moving anywhere that's nice um, you got the recharge port positioned there nicely as well as the speaker it's no damage there and for added safety they added these grooves into the chassis that go around the um, the cover tech wheel so you can't pull this out all the way unless you twist it and then you can get it out so that's protecting your your internals and your wires so the chassis doesn't come all the way out they also use retention screws for their LEDs and their NeoPixel connectors in here, so that's not going to move around or rattle like some companies we know. Um, and you also get customization options, like for this, I've got claws. Um, you can get them mirrored or the black anodized. I'm going to send mine away to have them colored uh, another color uh, later. But uh, the blade plug, the weathering, you name it, they can do it. They customize it for you and it comes at the highest level. To me, that increases the value of the Saber. But even though you get all those top quality uh, design and parts, the price is still in the mid-grade range. Uh, I consider budget to be uh, $150, $200 and, and, and under. And I say, you know, your mid-grade or your mid-level uh, is going to be your 200 to uh, 500 range, and then your high end is going to be 600 and up. Um, but you're getting a lot of high-end stuff. I think uh, this one ran me um, $530, $530 for this, uh, this Reaver. And it's my one of my favorite hilts. I use this one. I have the most fonts on this. I use this for most of my demos, for fonts and things. It's a great saber. Uh, the Senza went up to uh, $600. Uh, but again, you got the OLED screen on there. <laughs> So you got the OLED screen right there that adds a price. The shrouds were a little extra, so that took the price up too. Something else to add into that value is when you buy a budget saber or even some of the other uh, higher end companies, you only get just the stock fonts or maybe usually one to six fonts. Saber Trio, they give you 20 fonts. You get the stock fonts, plus they throw in seven fonts from KSIF. Seven. Those are high end quality sound fonts that you have ready to rock and roll on your Sabre. Uh, you get Vengeance by KSIF. You get Light, Dark, uh, Crossguard, which is your Kylo Ren. Um, then they included uh, 
uh, two additional ones, uh, one that was customly designed for Saber Trio, and the other one was Saber Trio Dark Edition. So you have all these extra fonts uh, on your Saber. So right out of the box, you can just swing that sucker, have fun, and, and feel like you really got your money's worth. And I feel like that's really good. Like Bader's Vault and Saber Forge, their prices, they can get up there. When you add all the extra options, you're paying 700 you know, bucks and up and whatnot. Although Saber Trio has gotten a lot better, and I'll do a separate video on them. I've got a lot of thoughts on Saber Trio. But uh, you can get a lot out of um, um, Saber Trio. I'm sorry, I meant Saber Forge. I have another video on Saber Forge. But you can get a lot out of Saber Trio um, with value and just parts and quality and customer service. So um, I highly recommend Saber Trio. It's a great Saber company. If you like the Saber designs, you know, the customer service and the quality of your parts and electronics are going to be um, even better. So I definitely say go for it. I have two Sabres and I'm planning on picking up another one. Um, they do these RTS sales, which is ready to ship. You can pick up a Sabre that's, you order that and then boom, they ship it in, you know, within two to five days, it's already in the mail going to you. Uh, the only downside that I really have about Sabre Trio is that they are in Malaysia. And depending on where you are in the world, you may have to pay customs fees. Um, I'm currently in Europe, and when I ordered both of these Sabres, I got destroyed in custom fees, which is why I don't have more Sabre Trio Sabres right now. I kind of I kind of have to wait till it's the you know the best time um, financially for me. But um, they ship via DHL, and DHL only goes to certain places, and they do not deliver to PO boxes. And uh, so I had to have it shipped to my home address, and then that went through customs, and I had to pay a lot of money to get that in. So um, I'm pretty sure if you're in the States, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but if you're in the EU or somewhere else, you're, gonna, you're probably going to have to pay import fees, and that's going to cost a lot for something like this. And they do the best they can. They try to write the claim the value as being as low as possible. And the way they describe it, you know, on the custom form, they try to, you know, sneak it through without spending a lot of money. But, you know, depending on where you are, you're going to have to pay import fees. So that, that's one downside is their location. But outside of that, um, I highly recommend Saber Trio. I'm all about them. Good parts, good service, and great quality. So if you have any questions or, or comments, please throw them down below and I'll address them. I'm usually pretty good about um, uh, responding to any comments or questions that, that are put down below. Uh, but also, always check the description first. I try to put a lot of information in the descriptions um, before I um, uh, try to answer anything um, in a comment. So check that down below too. But uh, please uh, share your thoughts with me on how you feel about Saber Trio and, uh, and let me know. Even if you have great Saber Trio hilts, why not just throw a link to a video if you have one in the comments below and I'll watch them and comment and things like that. But um, I'm all about Saber Trio. I think it's a great company and when we get, not if, but when we get through this pandemic and everything's flowing as normal, I know, I know I'll definitely be rocking and rolling with more Sabre Trio stuff. Um, so I believe they announced that their uh, store opening uh, for 2021 will be uh, March 26th, 26th March. So if you have something in mind, uh, be ready to rock and roll and order your Sabre through them. I want to try to pick up a Skylar or perhaps an... Uh, uh, an arc light. So anyway, um, thank you for listening to me ramble about Saber Trio and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you.